Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today I have a absolutely amazing figure, I can already tell just by looking at it. And I have wanted this for the longest time, I thought I was going to have to buy it out of its box. But we've got it in box, that being the Farland Dragons, the Rise of Man, Hunter Clan Dragon. So when I saw this I couldn't believe it and I just think that it is so unique, so incredibly detailed as well and just really creative having this dragon hang down from a tree just like i haven't seen anything like it and when i saw it i just thought yeah it's absolutely amazing and i needed to get it yeah i managed to find this on ebay for about 50 dollars i think which is pretty reasonable this is from 2008 so you know in the era where McFarlane was doing really good really detailed figures so there is one issue that i think that this is gonna have which i really hope is not the case but we'll see after i unbox it so you can tell just by the details here the sculpt is absolutely incredible the paint application is also really good but you know this is just looking at it through the box so we won't know until we actually get inside this one so without further ado let's get him out of his box and check him out all right guys so here we've got him the mcfarlane dragons rise of man hunter clan so it doesn't say hunter clan dragon but i'm assuming it's the hunter clan dragon right i think <laughs> that's the only thing that makes sense um anyway so the box very odd it's got kind of like this uh what would you call that this curve uh it's it's very odd and surprisingly plain for mcfarlane toys um yeah really like focused on the dragon not much of a background we've got a bit on the side here but not a lot so we've got the mcfarlane toys the same again this is also a 13 plus figure we'll go to the back so again very plain we've got a bit of advertising for the other ones in the series we've only got four so this is the one we're unboxing today and you can see that's what he's going to look like and that's why i've always just been fascinated with this figure because that looks absolutely incredible like even compared to the other ones, I really do like the other ones as well. We've actually got this one, so we'll be unboxing him next. But, you know, in comparison to these other three, he just stands out to me so much. He looks absolutely incredible. We've got a huge white space here. Very odd. Uh, we've got a bit of lore here as well, so if you want to have a pause and have a read of that, feel free to, but I'm not going to. But, uh, yeah, we've got links to the website but uh, it says this is the final chapters of the McFarlane Dragon Saga so I'm not sure if that's like did they have some books or some comics or something is that what it's talking about or just this series it might be just this series as a whole so that's essentially that uh, like I said very strange box to me very strange box um, We've also got nothing on the bottom, but yeah, so that's that. Let's get him out of his box. So we got the bit of advertising here. This is just the backing. Very weird, unique looking backing. Um, and then we've got the inside. So this is this advertising for the Egyptian theme, the Age of Pharaohs quite a cool theme uh, I would love to pick these figures up but yeah just I don't know <laughs> they are pretty hard to find actually and then we've got Legend of the Blade Hunters so I'm gonna have to look up what that is I'm not 100% sure but um, yeah we've kind of got some things down here so I'm gonna have to look it up and check it out but yeah I've never heard of that this is something that I've said with some of the advertising for McFarlane stuff, just like these two things, like we we don't get anything, so I would prefer to see the figures. Uh, like this one, i got no idea whatsoever it, it's about. Uh, we've just got like trees in the background, and then for the Pharaohs one, we've got the figure, but it's blurred out, so I guess it would get people excited for it, but yeah, I wish we actually had pictures of the figures.
So here we've got him guys, a bit of a first look at him just straight out of his box. So like I said, we are seeing so much detail here and he looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to say it right now, this could be my new favourite. We will see. <laughs> we will see. So on the back here we've got his tree as well as his stand. So that's the thing that I'm worried about. Is this actually going to be able to hold him up? Uh, it's got a big metal pole, but we'll see. guys that has been our look at the hunter clan dragon so obviously i am very very impressed with this one oh, just the sculpt on this is absolutely fantastic i'll put up some close-ups now so you can see absolutely amazing the head and the wings and everything is just sculpted super well i'll say that the little soldiers on top aren't the best but considering their size like it is still pretty good um yeah, what a, like, fantastic, very creative figure we've got here. Definitely, like, if you're thinking of picking this one up, um, I think that in out of box it's a bit easier to pick up. In box, I've certainly struggled to get it, and I finally have got it, so I am very, very happy about that. But yeah, if, you, if this is one that you're thinking of picking up, then yeah, I would say definitely do it. Because I think that people have been sleeping on this series. I think at some point it is going to pick up and it's going to be a much harder to find these. I think that the McFarlane Dragon series, like all of them, are really, really good, really detailed. Because they're not spawn, I don't think they did as well. And now you can kind of still pick them up for reasonably cheap. So obviously no articulation with this one, though there is a bit, we've got a bit in the head which is about as much as you would want or expect I guess. Would have liked some in the wings to kind of adjust them. Uh, not too happy with the way that they're sitting. I like that I've managed to get the claw around the end of the branch for this one, but this other wing's kind of sitting wherever it wants. And you can see on the advertising for it, the wings actually sit out more, but it's all kind of scrunched up. 
And I will admit, it doesn't look as good as the photos, obviously. Sometimes they're like that. But overall, I am really impressed with this one. I think that its downfalls are certainly the stand. Come on, McFarlane. Like, we see you do this amazing figure and you can't give us, like, a good stand. Uh, I just, I don't know what the deal is with that. McFarlane Toys does do good stands, so I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why it's like this, but it's not very good. It's going to do the job, but uh, I would be scared that in the future, uh, I think that this might break or something, and because it's like this, these two stands and then a middle piece connecting them, I fear losing that middle piece because it is not going to stand without that, so I don't know, it's a bit weird, but I mean, besides that, I really don't have anything to complain about with this one. If you want this one, definitely go pick it up because he is absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's finally good to, you know, we've been looking at a lot of the new McFarlane toys more recently and it's so nice to go back and just see the detail that McFarlane was doing as well as the creativity, like having the dragon wrapped around the tree trunk and hanging down like that. Who thinks of that? Absolutely fantastic. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. You let me know yours down below. Hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. Obviously said we'll be looking at the water dragon next time. So definitely going to be doing that. So if that sounds good to you, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Share this video. That would help me out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.